We have on lines right now Rashad Melau from Duke from the 97-98 team. He was a team MVP in 98, first team All-ACC, first round fifth Atlanta Hawks, and was the first transfer player at Duke. So let's get into it. Let's, let's start from the beginning. Who was your team growing up in college? Um, my college team growing up was uh, was actually Michigan, <laughs> like everybody else around that age, the Fab Five. Um, you know, they really changed the, the game of basketball, and you know, they had a, a lot of great players that they had a, had an opportunity to play against and uh, to see what they what they did. Even though they didn't win the championship, it was great mm-hmm. to see the. the the you know the presence and you know the the changes that they made to the game of basketball. Okay. So when you were in high school, like what were some of the schools recruited you? Did Duke recruit you? Yeah, Duke recruited me. Um, uh, but I think they they didn't have a scholarship left by the time because I I didn't sign early, I didn't commit early. So Joey Beard <clears throat> took the last scholarship that they had. Um, but I was also recruited by Florida State. Uh, Florida, Wake Forest, Arizona, um, you know, St. John's where I went uh, out of high school uh, initially before. Uh, you know, those are those are my top five schools that, that I, I visited and, and really, you know, gave consideration to. Uh, you want to see any recruit you anything? Uh, can you read that? Oh, you want to see they didn't recruit you? Uh no, they didn't recruit me because they had, you know, they had a lot of forwards, mm-hmm. you know, at that time. Um and, you know, Rasheed Wallace, we were in the same class, you know, so they had a lot of Jerry Stackhouse. They they all went to school there, um and we were all in the same class. So I played the same positions as Rasheed and Stackhouse at the time because we were all considered, you know, power forwards and small forwards uh, of the like. Okay. What about, like, transferring to Duke? Like, what made you decide, like, I want to go to Duke, leaving New York, I mean, New York and New Jersey and coming down to North Carolina? Well, Duke, Duke's had some some very good success with Jersey players. Um, mm-hmm. You know, playing for Hurley, I, I got a chance to really talk to Bobby and, and really live his Duke, the dream through him of of the Duke experience. And... When, by the time I was transferring, I realized how special Duke was, um, and it wasn't just about basketball. Um, mm-hmm. So when I left St. John's, my decision was based solely on basketball, uh, just being able to grow and, and have the opportunity to, to play. Um, I saw Duke, when Coach was injured, that they were struggling and they needed uh, help, and I wanted to be a part of a group of individuals that could help bring the great program back to prominence. Mm-hmm. So what was it like, you know, like when you first came to North Carolina on Duke campus, being in the South and everything, what was those days like? Um, it was it was a great feeling. Um, I visited two schools when I transferred, Arizona and Duke, and uh, when I got down there, my family's from North Carolina and South Carolina, so, okay. you know, the, the, the atmosphere wasn't unfamiliar because I visited them every year. Um, but uh, I just felt at home at Duke. You know, I came I came on a visit when when school was out, and and I, the team did a wonderful job showing me a great time, and uh, and so that's what made me want to, you know, Jeff Capel, who was my host, we came out of school the same year, so he really showed me a wonderful time along with Trajan and Ricky Price. Mm-hmm. 